going on people it's the xbox 448 and guys i know i dropped a video not too long ago but uh something has come to my attention and i know people out there they try to talk about like me my boy the mooch or or when crap gamer or other people talk about a a gaming media bias that that goes on um Within, you know, the big gaming media, the IGNs, the GameSpots, um, when, you know, dealing with Xbox and, and PlayStation, and, you know, at, at least I know me and Mooch, we've gone out on the limb there, and I know there's a lot of other people out there that agree with this, that, you know, for some rhyme or reason, these big gaming medias, they, they have a tendency to, to side with PlayStation on many things. Now... If you're a gamer out there and you say, well, there's no media bias, if 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 you're not a fanboy, you can at least keep be kind of open to the idea. And it seems that today, um, you know, right before the release of, of uh, the new God of War for PlayStation 4, which a lot of gamers are hyped up about, and I can understand why it, it is a... Um, it is a very popular franchise. They're taking it in a new direction. Uh, you can see graphically the game looks great. Uh, a lot of people are talking about the story. The reviews for people who, who uh, really go in and, and let reviews be a huge part of, of the hype for a game. The reviews have been absolutely phenomenal on this new uh, God of War. But here's the thing, guys. Um, when it comes to the gaming media... IGN, on their official Facebook page, posted this. <laughs> Can you spot the difference? PS4 and Xbox, right? Like, we don't know that God of War is an exclusive from a first-party developer on the PlayStation platform. You know, it's funny to me because I'm going to leave this up here too, by the way. I'm going I'm to leave this up here because my boy Crap Gamer, who isn't a part of the big gaming media, he doesn't get those those passes to go to all these like, you know, game showings behind closed doors and stuff like that. He's a YouTuber. He, yo, he's a fairly popular YouTuber, but when he does comparisons like this, people try to slam him, right? This is supposed to be a professional gaming media source. Something that's supposed to be neutral with no bias, right? They're supposed to show knowledge of the gaming industry and platforms. And this is what they resort to on their official Facebook page. This is horrendous. This is completely unprofessional in my opinion. And I do not know why people will defend this you know when this video goes up there's going to be people in the comment section saying how this is just funny that it's just funny and i'm thinking about you know the casual people that check out ign because ign has a huge uh i guess you could say subscriber base uh whether it's facebook or whatever um IGN is known as a place to go for gaming news. Even uh, people who casually browse YouTube or something like that, if they want to look at something about a game, they'll usually see an IGN side or GameSpot or something like that. And to see them blatantly put this up there, knowing that this is a first party exclusive. God of War is a first party exclusive. It's never going to be on another platform. Why do this comparison? Why feed all this crazy console war bullshit? Now, people want to say there's no bias. For anybody with common sense right now, you know, as a gamer, this is bullshit. There is no need for this. Now, what if I took Forza Horizon and put a side-by-side -side like this? Forza Horizon on Xbox compared to PS4, and you would just see a black screen. They don't have an open world racer. That that is any type of um that has any type of credibility as Horizon does. 
I could easily do this like that, right? I could put Forza Horizon on the Xbox side, on PS4 side, nothing but a black screen. I wonder how that would be interpreted within the gaming community. I wonder how people would think about if I did something like that. They would say that I am being a fanboy. So what is IGN doing right here? Are they being um, informative? Are they letting people know that God of War is an exclusive for pay PS4 and this is what it looks like on the Xbox because it's not there? Anybody with half a brain that's into gaming, that knows about the PlayStation 4, knows about the Xbox One, knows that God of War is a PlayStation franchise. But there's no bias, guys. Absolutely incredible. I, I, I could not believe this, yo. Shout out to my podcast fam for sharing this, man. It is uh, incredible. And anybody who says that this is not... This, this is something that IGN should do. This is completely unprofessional, people. Um, As usual, guys, yo, hit up the comment section. I wasn't even planning on making another video. But... <laughs> At least not tonight, but this was absolutely incredible. I had to share this with you guys, and I, I, I want to know what you guys think. I mean, do you see what I'm saying? Is it do, Does anybody need any more proof now that, that when it comes to the big gaming media, that they definitely side to one side instead of being a, a balanced kind of like gaming journalist company? No way. They're, they're no way they are a balanced journalist, gaming journalist company anymore. But hit up the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. As usual, if you like the topics, you like the gameplay, definitely hit that thumbs up button for me. Um, if you haven't done it yet, definitely subscribe. Not only that, if, if you can see the bottom uh, left and right side uh, of the screen, uh, that is my Twitter handle. You can go ahead and follow me there. And that is my name on Mixer as well, where I do, I actually do streams on Mixer as well, um, from time to time, Windows 10, uh, for some rhyme or reason, they're not letting me put my chat into OBS, there's, there's an issue, I have a hard time getting into Xbox Live, uh, party chat on my computer to share it with you guys as I'm playing games, so I will stream on Mixer as well, so go ahead and, uh, follow me on Mixer, and, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now, guys. I cannot believe this. But but as for now, this is the Xbox 448. And I am definitely signing off. Can you believe this bullshit? Trying to get demons up out of me. Turn to a beast, eat your arteries. Deceasing opponents so properly. Unleashing the dark side, what got to me? Come to take this shit over.